Hi, I'm John Thorpe, and you all know my story about shattering my leg back in 1986. Well, I was also one of the first to ever treat horses using this technology. I treated at Vladimir Sarin's barn in 1995, and Tyler Sarin probably was 10, 12 years old. Little did I know that I'd be running into Tyler uh, 10 years later. Tyler Sarin heard that I had the newest of the technology and asked me if I would train him. Doug O'Neill had purchased a young horse, a two-year-old, for $35,000. It had a problem. It had chronic inflammation in its ankles. But this little horse had blazing speed and a big heart. He'd run well one day, be sore the next. Tyler came to me and he said, John, we've got this two-year-old that's never won a race. Stephanie and I had the chance to work with All Have Another for the last two months using John Thorpe's certified machines and his protocols. And he showed how much he enjoyed the machine as he came out and he won his first race at 43 to 1. I'll have another opening up to lead by three. And as I'll have another coming on to win it easy. Four weeks from now, the Kentucky Derby will be run at Churchill Downs. But today, we're just minutes from the start of the Santa Anita Derby. A race filled with compelling storyline. And I'll have another is out to prove that his 43 to 1 upset victory in his last start was no fluke. Another coming on gamely down the center. I'll have another creative scores. On the inside, blue skies and rainbows, a three-way thriller. I'll have another creative scores. I'll have another in front, creative scores. They hit a together. I'll have another. And Mario Gutierrez has won the Santa Anita Derby. That qualified us for the Kentucky Derby. There are many races. Few become American traditions. But there's only one. Kentucky Derby. They're off in the Kentucky Derby! Now there's never been a horse that's broken from 19th slot. That's 19 spots off the rail to win the Kentucky Derby. Now this time we were 15 to 1. On to the Preakness. In the Preakness. It's Bodie Meister, and I'll have another in a dramatic Preakness. Can I have another get there? Here he comes. Here's the wire. I'll have another get ahead. He ran down Bodie Meister to win the Preakness, and the Triple Crown will be on the line at Belmont Park. I'll have another coming from behind and win the second of the Triple Crown, the Preakness. Well, the Japanese contacted Doug O'Neill. They offered him $10 million for I'll Have Another to Stud. That's quite a return on investment. 2012. Took a horse that had never won a race. We won the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness. Well, after the run with I'll Have Another, I asked Doug if he would say a little something about what he thought of the instrument. And here's what Doug O'Neill had to say and the credit he gave to the Equiscope. Hi, I'm Doug O'Neill and I have just a wonderful experience with John Thorpe's uh, Microcurrent calibrated devices. Um, they took us to the Kentucky Derby, which we won with All Have Another. Then on to Baltimore, where we won the, the Preakness Stakes. And it's just a wonderful device. And uh, Tyler Seren, who John has so brilliantly uh, trained how to use the, the, the devices, uh, did a great job. And it, it was a huge asset in our uh, journey. Now we fast forward after the 2012 victory. So let's bring it up to 2017. Claiming the lead in a matter of strides, River Boyne with a dazzling turn of foot has put the opener safely in his keeping. He scores by a half dozen lengths. 
ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back the first winner of the new race meet, River Boyne. Jeff Mullins is the winning trainer. I'm Jeff Mullins. I'm a thoroughbred horse trainer here at Santa Anita. Uh, I've been around horses all my life and, and uh, we have all kinds of injuries and disease and we discovered the electro equoscope. It's River Boyne with another lethal turn of foot careering clear in the Pasadena to win from Inscom La La Land. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back the Pasadena Stakes winner for 2018, River Boyne, stringing together three impressive victories at this meet. Kitten, it's in the post to win it for Tyler Bay's oh, charming. Goes to, it's in the post, trained by Jeff Mullins, ridden by Tyler so Bay. Jeffrey went down to the Thorpe Institute and, and went through the training and, and came home with his machine and actually started treating me, my sore shoulder and, and neuropathy in my feet. The effect of this machine had on me is tremendous. It's uh, it's it's unbelievable. And we started working on horses, you know, bow tendons, suspensories, uh, puffy joints, sore backs, sore hocks, sore feet. Um, we even treated a horse with EPM. And uh, after three or four treatments, the horse with EPM started feeling better, you know, moving better, had more energy. In fact, uh, a couple weeks after that, uh, we ran him back and he, he won his first race. Electro Echoscope is, is, is the new wave. It's, it's, I'm not sure that I could be without that machine at this point. Better be here. January 6th, we're running, it's in the post. So it's the San Gabriel Stakes for 200,000. It's in the post one, the San Gabriel. I was there along with Rio King and Larry Thumper Jones in the winter circle, the Equiscope team all there as it's in the post, won the San Gabriel. Then on February 3rd, it's in the post, did it again, and wins the San Marcos. Then March 17th, St. Patty's Day, with a crowd rooting for the little Irish horse and River Boyne wins the Pasadena Stakes. Then March 24th, it's in the post, wins again for the San Luis Rey. Then on May 26th, he does it again. Captures the Charles Whittingham. Now this is horse has won over a million dollars, a little unknown six-year-old is now in the million dollar category with some of the biggest names in racehorse history. He's won a million dollars. And June 16th was pretty special for me because not only was I in the winner's circle with River Boyne as anticipated to win the Rainbow Stakes, but another horse that Jeffrey Mullins Jr. had been treating, perfect wager. And he turned out to be the perfect wager that day as he too won. So I wasn't in the winner's circle once. I was in the winner's circle twice on June 16th. Now it's time for Del Mar. Come and join us in the winner's circle where the surf meets the turf at Del Mar. I just have to say... 2018 has been an amazing, amazing year. I have not been to the track once, including Santa Anita and Del Mar, without being in the winter circle. I told you that we were heading for Del Mar, where the surf meets the turf. So on August 3rd, Friday, we go there, we've got Perfect Wager running once again. And I looked Jeff sternly in the eye, Junior, and said, how much did you treat this horse? Back then he was 16 to 1, but the time he went off, he was 19 to 1. He said, I treated him a lot. So let's go back to the window and put another 100 on the nose and 100 to show. So I put 200 on the nose and 200 to show and take a look at Perfect Wager being the Perfect Wager. And uh, away they go. 
Caray hopped away smartly from the outside gate. Honeymoon's over, shows speed. As then comes Hey Lord, sequentially down at the rail. Captivate in the orange is making headway on the extreme outside. Inside. They come for home, Captivate. Captivate Caray sequentially gets through on the inside from the distance, tries to run on late as well. Outside, perfect wager, perfect wager flying, perfect wager's gonna get them all. Perfect wager up to beat Captivate Caray. Then the next night, Saturday night. Now, this is the important race because Tatters to Riches had a severe injury in a sesamoid. Jeffrey had been treating this horse daily for close to a year. So this is the first race back. We were all a little nervous when Tatters to Riches on August 4th watched this race. And away they go. Another one. Tatters to Riches kicking through down at the rail. Gracida on the far Great. side. Coming to the top of the lane, and here's Flagstaff with a big run for the lead. Street Vision is battling on. Tatters to Riches got a great run through at the rail. Tatters to Riches goes on with it as well. Tatters to Riches, Tatters to Riches won it. Tatters to Riches a half. So now we've had a 19 to 1. Tatters to Riches was 6 to 1. And now River Boyne, who's like 5 to 2, you know. Uh, you're not going to win much money, but I have to always keep my bet the same that I do on Equiscope horses. Here's how River Boyne finished in Del Morris's. Field sent on their way. They all appeared to come out smoothly. On the far side, Calex Man in the white cap goes straight to the lead. Inscom from the outside gate goes up to race in second. Long in fourth, favorite River Boyne. Taken back second last, eight lengths off the leaders. Arawak is the early trailer. Vengeance. River Boyne in the red colors just got to pick a spot to run and then Arawak. Side. River Boyne in the red now hooked out to the outside. Move overs in with a shot down at the rails. Hanging on. River Boyne on the outside. Inscom between them. River Boyne just puts her head in front as they run to the wire and River Boyne will win it going away. River Boyne, Arawak finish. Not only are we successful here in the United States, but the jockey on the long shot, Thundersnow, Christoph Semelian is also our patient. And this year for $10 million, Christoph Semelian won the $10 million on Thundersnow. He dominated the race. Here's Christoph Semelian got treated before the $10 million race on Thundersnow and right afterwards. So million, one a million. His 10% of the 10 million was $1 million. Now look at this come from behind victory. Come from so far behind, he's not even in the picture. And accelerates past them all. Now that's what an Equiscope horse will do. And watch this horse fly. And they're off hand racing and a bit slow out of the start towards the outside is Roy H is out the back. Four lengths away, Wild Do Ronaldo, the wizard, the 12-year-old. A fifth run in the race is well beaten at this stage. And Mind Your Biscuits is last of all at the 500 metres. Down the outside coming home is Roy H, but it's XY Jet. XY Jet by two lengths. Roy H is swapping. Mind Your Biscuits coming from nowhere. XY Jet swap stopping. Mind Your Biscuits swooping and got a, what an extraordinary performance. Mind your biscuits. Well, if you're watching on the TV, if it isn't even in the, in the shots, well, what an extraordinary win. I'm so blessed to have this team, and I thank you all for being a part of Intelligent Bioenergetics and the Electro Equiscope. So thank you all for your support and all of your hard work. Thank you, and aloha.